I've been shopping Harbor Freight Tools. Check it out. Hi afternoon YouTube. Here with you on a Friday afternoon. It is about 4:10 in the afternoon. And I'm coming from coming to you from the living room for a bit of a change. I have been to I don't know if you can tell or not. <laughs> Harbor Freight. Um, this is the magnetic ashtray they had for like 99 cents. The super glue there, three pack of super glue was 79 cents. These, uh, I don't know how much these were, they weren't on sale, but I thought I could use them for my little um, vibrating uh, tool, multi tool. Uh, I did get some um, sandpaper grits. Thousand wetter dry for the top of the Buick, uh, the 60 grit and the 150 grit over here. It's just for uh, general purpose stuff. Oh, let me don't forget this uh, flashlight too. I think this was 99 cents, uh, the two pack of flashlights. So the uh, little LED work light right there was free, and there I don't know if you can really see them, but there's three hook hangers behind that. They come out in a V-shape, and these, these ends here are what they... I thought those might come in handy to hang some stuff up in the shop. You know, I don't, I don't know for sure. Also picked up a roll of uh, duct tape, and I can't find mine. So as soon as I, you know, start to use that, I'll find mine. But <laughs> I went ahead and bought it. Uh, behind everything is a 10-inch random, random orbit, orbital polisher, sander, buffer, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think that was uh, $15.99, I believe, with a 20% off, I think, a coupon. The one above it, the Orbital Hand Sander, was nine, I believe, $9.99 with a coupon. So all in all, this stuff here um, ended up costing me $51.88. So I didn't think that was too bad. Uh, I, I kind of like Harbor Freight. Uh, you know, some of it's good, some of it's not so good, but yet, you know, uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. I've been wanting a, another sander for a while since I bought that one off of eBay, that older uh, Black & Decker, and it just broke. So, this is basically the same kind. You put the uh, sandpaper under the clamps on these end. uses quarter sheet sandpaper, so each one of those 9.5 by 11 uh, sandpapers here will make uh, four sheets for that. And I think there's quite a few in each pack. I think these packs, oh, this is pack seven. Uh, I think these packs are like $2.99 a piece is what they are. So I thought that was worth taking a shot, shot on them. Um, you know, I don't know how good it's going to be or like that. But uh, the uh, sander, I'm going to try the sander on the top. I know it's probably not a good idea, but I'm going to try it anyway. I figure i got nothing to lose on a roll painted top. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, soak a sheet of that in uh, water and put it on the sander and then make sure it's, it stays wet on the top of the, on the uh, top itself. And just, uh, of course, I won't try to get too much water where it slings water up in the motor and like that. But, uh, you know, just keep it, uh, keep it down to a minimum and, and see what it does. I'd like to know. I may just try a little bit of a, uh, an area that doesn't show too much or something like that. But... Uh, Anyway, that's just uh, some of the things I'm doing, and uh, Callie's been wanting that buffer for quite a while, so uh, I finally went ahead and bit the bullet and bought it. I had a little extra money left over from the trip. I didn't really spend too much on the trip, so uh, so that's that. Uh, yeah, let me talk about the, uh, the glasses. Uh, let me do that here while I'm sitting in the chair, so hang on, and I'll be right back. All right, the uh, Exelvan glasses. Now, I, I don't know. I'm, I still have kind of a mixed reaction for these. Um, but I think the video quality when it's working is not too bad. But on my latest uh, adventure, and uh, let me show you. There it is. There's the little input port for the uh, USB. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe if I show you against my leg there. Um, it doesn't uh, it's not a standard uh, like a cell phone type it's a little bit shorter a little bit wider and I'm sure it's just a proprietary type thing and uh, anyway 
I've noticed that when you plug in the USB to it to charge it or to um, download pictures, there's a problem with it. And I think that's causing a lot of my problems that I'm having. I'm getting uh, files that are not complete and things like that. And when I plug it in to charge it, it will start charging and then it quits unless I hold the uh, connector in there a certain way. And uh, so I think that is 99% of my problem. But uh, when I do the uh, the uh, park video, uh, which may be later this evening or tomorrow, I'm not sure when. I'm still resting, guys. <laughs> but uh, I think uh, I think that's my problem with these glasses is that connector. And uh, I think if I can either fix that or um, you know. I don't know what, but uh, make it better to where it'll stay in there. I don't know exactly how I can do that, but uh, these connectors are so small. But like I said, um, out of the, uh, I only really used these glasses one time. We went to the, they have a beach there, and it's basically sand and a, a pond, <laughs> you know. But it's it's uh, it's not too bad. It's not not a dirty type pond. It's I think they filter it and stuff, but it's a uh, pretty good place and they had their little obstacle course set up down there and uh, I was trying to get some of that but uh, you, you'll notice on the video when I show it that the uh, audio doesn't match the video and the video is sped up in, in parts and I think that's all due to this connector because uh, I think that has to do with when I downloaded I think it didn't get the complete files because I had to re-plug it in a couple times and things like that so I think that's that's our problem with it so if anybody's wanting to get a pair of these you know that's something you should look out for I, I don't know that uh, it's just you know every glass is like that but uh, this one sure is so uh, and I'm gonna try to work on it to where I can you know maybe come up with a better way maybe use a rubber band or something to hold it in a certain way so that you know it'll charge like it's supposed to and that uh, downloading pictures will work as it's supposed to so that's the plan anyway, and uh, I will try that again. Now uh, I did take quite a bit of uh, video with it. I mean, it seemed to uh, seemed to have lasted, but uh, again, I got the index errors and things like that because the, the files were not complete. So uh, that's the that's the whole thing about those. And uh, you know, let the buyer beware on these. You know, so you know if you're desperate for something like this, you know, you might consider. That it may be this may be one of the you know ones that doesn't work you know what I'm saying you, you buy things from China and maybe a half dozen of them work and you know five of them don't work you know how that works but uh, anyway so thought I would let you know about that another nice day outside uh, it, uh, it was not a real good night for me I had uh, went to bed a little around around 10 o'clock I was pretty wiped out and uh, so I thought, well, I'll get some good night's sleep at least, you know, and things like that. So, but around three o'clock, I woke up. I had to uh, use the facilities, and uh, so I did that. And it was uh, uh, one of those situations where I had to go again. <laughs> you know how that works. But I, I have a, a problem when I change my diet much. I, I go through phases like that, and. Uh, so basically what I did was uh, I stayed up until about 7.30 and I thought, well, I'm going to lay back down, which I did. And I think I ended up getting up around 10.30. So, you know, as far as sleep is concerned, I think it was plenty, but uh, still kind of groggy and things. You know, you, when you sleep like that, it just doesn't, it's not as, not as good as a normal night's sleep. But uh, anyway... Uh, I'm not going to belabor this fact too much. Uh, I think I'm just going to cut it short here and uh, let you guys know that I'm still working on things. But uh, I do have some new new play toys. You know how I am when new, new stuff comes in. So uh, you guys have a pleasant day. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you. <laughs>